we got to be up for the cup as welcome back guys to episode number nine now of the Nottingham Forest career mode back again with another episode in January where we really need to be making some signings and improving as I've got three huge players on the shortlist not huge as in rating we're scrapping for a relegation battle but hopefully players that can come in and help us out one being from the club we're facing right now. So I'm going to wait until after the game to reveal them. See if we get any offers in before that. But we're going to go into these games as it's Watford away on the Sunday 22nd. A Premier League team of course right now. And we are going to be testing ourselves big time. As then it's on to Bournemouth away at the Vitality. These games are very, very tough. And our job's still not guaranteed. So it's going to be a challenge to get something out of them. As then we have deadline day today. Maybe Swansea. And maybe Birmingham, that's probably unlikely. Definitely not Brentford. There will not be five games today because I've got to get business done and try and change this team and find a winning formula with this team as well. As we've got an approach May Jenkinson will leave the club. Okay, I don't mind him going to Young Boys as now Lyle Taylor's being approached by Minnesota United. Go make your money, Lyle. I mean, I'd say you've been a good servant to the club, but... Not under my reign. And I don't think I can be sacked from this one. The manager rating is, of course, very, very, very close at the moment. As what's this message we've just got? Performance review. Currently under close observation. Our confidence in regards of ability to manage has been undermined by results. No decision has been made just yet as Lyle Taylor will be leaving. And brand representation still hasn't been done. So... I think we've got to start accepting offers when they come into the club. I've turned down McKenna from Fenerbahce. I don't think I can afford to do that anymore as we've got to get this team right. And our brightest spark at the moment really is out, Jao Carvalho. As this is the team for Watford. I'm going to go with four at the back. Hopefully it works. As Jack Butland is in goal. Drager, Worrell, McKenna and Williams at the back. With Marcus Paolo, Yates, Ajeda and Jed Wallace on the right hand side of midfield. With Brennan Johnson through the middle. Just a bit of pace. And Jonas Wind. As we've got an ex-Watford boy on the bench as well. In Tom Cleverley. Maybe can make an impact off the bench. But not really that kind of impact player is he. Getting old. And hopefully... We can just get a result against the Hornets. And this is it. You can see the boys there. Is this the last time we see them? Possibly against not just the Premier League team, but any. As it's the Cycling GK in goal. Callum Chambers, Ruben Vizo, Martial, the captain, and Danny Rose. Experienced player here. I've actually seen him in real life with Maina, Gosling, Sissoko, Villar, and Barr. And Emmanuel Dennis up front. So I'd see... Well, I'd see. I'd say they've rotated a little bit. But... I'm not sure if they've just come into the first team, the likes of Barr on that side. So, very tough test. If we do this, though, and pull out with a result, I would be absolutely amazed. This would be a huge confidence boost as Mohamed Drake has lost the ball straight away. Though. We just need to try and slow it down. Pass it around as Emmanuel Dennis passes it to where Drager should be. I don't know why Mohamed's trying to sabotage us at the start. As Jed Wallace has to make a block, and it's four minutes in. A corner to Watford. Come on. Do not let the Premier League team score us straight away. If we're going to try and cause an upset, can't concede to set pieces. If we're not going to win, I don't see it coming from behind us now. Ojeda with a pass straight into Mohamed Draga. Needs to calm down a little bit him with a bit of a fast run right there. Good passing though. As Ojeda looks forward to Brennan Johnson. Jonas Wind with it now. Keeps it away from his man. Now into Jed Wallace. Wallace back in the middle to Brewery and Ajeda. Has to go backwards himself but doesn't. Why is he forcing it? Pass it to the man I want as Ryan Yates makes a good tackle. Going to keep trying to say Ryan now. Instead of Jerry. Keep making that mistake because that's a good ball down the line. Jed Wallace whips one in. It's gone back post where Marcus Paolo was flying in. He's going to try and impress against the Premier League team, isn't he? No bloody want to move away. It's not working out for him here. As now Brennan Johnson gives it out to the wing into Jed Wallace. And Wallace... Drops it off to Jonas Vind, right? The commentary has said Vind. I think his name is actually Vind right now. As now Jed Wallace cuts back. I've been doubting it. But here's Jonas Vind into Brewery and Ajeda through that gap. Now onto Jed, Jerry, Jerry Yates. Yes, it is Jerry Yates who tried to turn. And Marcus Paolo with a handball. Good start though from us, I've got to say. It's actually not going too bad at all. As now Brennan Johnson on the ball tries to cut out. Has he got support? He has actually. On this left hand side into Marcus Paolo. There's a man at the back post free. It's going into wind. Takes a clatter from Ben Foster right there. Coming out to punch it. But still he did of course get the ball away. As Callum Chambers chap him in. Oh brilliant work from Ben Williams. Just out wide though. As 
It's it's a bit of a weird one. I'd say we're playing really well, and I I don't see us well. I don't see us scoring because I've got no faith in the team at the moment. But if this were good to extra time and we lose, that would be devastating. Because I can see us keeping these out. They're not very threatening. Hopefully, I haven't spoken too soon. As Sissoko gives it back to Miner, drills one through the middle onto Manuel Dennis, and oh, we've got to get that ball. Let it just skim past the box right there. Cut inside onto Villar. Villar in the middle. Big save, Butland. To be fair, it's the first of the half he's had to make, but he definitely had to make that one. It's a corner ball for the Hornets. Can we get this away, please? Front post, Ben Williams. Little dodgy pass out, but we're going to try and play this out. I mean, they're a Premier League team. They don't really press like the championship, so we've successfully done it. As Mohamed Draga to run away. Can he chip that over to Brennan Johnson? Get the pace on as... Vezo's first to it. He's now Ryan Yates. Gives it into Marcus Paolo. Now onto Wind. And Wind is going to look out wide right here. Just before half time, Jed Wallace with a great touch to get around his man. I think I should shoot on this angle. Brilliant cut inside as Foster does save it. Good save from the GK as now corner ball before half time. If we could go in 1 0, how amazing would that be? It's going towards Wind. But Ben comes and collects it, and it's going to be nil-nil at half-time with Watford. To be fair, better than most of his championship games go. We're still in the FA Cup as it stands. Maybe just, but I, I think this has been an even game at Vicarage Road. I think with the position I'm in, I'm not going to say anything to the boys at half-time. I'm just going to say, do what you're doing, because it's actually kind of working at the moment. It's not really letting them threaten. Of course, they've had the chance. They're going to have it. They're a Premier League side, but... We're doing quite well. These are the teams, realistically, at the start of the season. I wanted to be playing in a heartbeat. I thought we were going to try and walk this league with the signings, but hasn't turned out that way as Draga taps it out. It's going to be Barr with a throw-in. Goes back into Danny Rose, just trying to mark up. But Draga, you've got to watch your winger. It's Watford who have come out the brighter in this second half. Their manager's probably had a go, whoever it is at the moment. I think it's, yeah, Ranieri, I think, as Worrell. Terrible touch. Worrell's let them have it. Sissoko taps it in. Joe Worrell is a liability at this club at the moment, and I absolutely hate to say it, but he's costing us the game as it is at Watford. Such a bright first half. Such a bright first half, and then he does something stupid like that. Walks straight in the middle. 1-0 Bs. Our boys have embarrassed us, as now it's Ryan... No, he hasn't. No, he hasn't. I, I, I looked at that for ages thinking, is he going to blow that whistle? And he has done. He's given them a penalty for nothing. Jed Wallace comes off the field for Joe Lolly, and it's going to be an absolute misery compiler if Sar scores, which he does. It's not even Sar, it's Dennis. It's Dennis. And that's a really bad sign for us right now. We were such the better team in the first half. I didn't bear to say it because I thought it would jinx me, but it doesn't matter. We jinxed already. Oh, my days. Look at this. It's, it's a dive to the wrong side. and Yeah, Dan Gosling's running on that wing. Did the danger. Straight in the back of the net from a penalty. Kennan does need to keep his arms down as Paolo. Straight on it. Gives it into Ben Williams. Now into Jerry. Not Jerry. It's Ryan. It's Ryan Yates. This is all going wrong at the moment. As now Wind picks up the ball on the wing. Gives it into Marcus Paolo. Who tries to turn his man unsuccessfully. As now it's Ryan Yates on the ball again. Brennan Johnson pointing to where he wants it. But I don't really trust him at the moment to get through and... Beat off them two defenders to the ball because he's not. He's, he's just a bit of pace. He's not really got any talent with the ball. I hate to say that about Brennan Johnson, but he's not proving it to me as they've got to run down this wing. Emmanuel Dennis on side and Butland stops it from being three. It's really not looking good. It's an absolute calamity as Ajeda heads it away to absolutely no one. It's Villar who picks up on it into Bar around the corner. Callum Chambers tackle on Dennis, but Bar passes it back. Into Emmanuel Dennis, and we've actually got the ball away from him right there. I was threatening a little bit as now Joe Lolly to run down this wing. Gives it into Jonas Wind. Good touch away. Brennan, can he do what I said he couldn't do and beat away from the defenders? Not really, but we've still kept the ball right here. Joe Lolly running down the wing. Cut that back inside. It's going towards absolutely no one. And Wind running away with the ball right here. Still, how are we supposed to get past this defence? It's just astonishing it's 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 complicated like i don't even have a word for it how hard it is to get past defenses when they just walk through us like that good job mckenna got his toe to it and now we've got to try and turn and go we've got literally not long at all left as joe lolly peel off of him don't just run straight offside that is stupid as a jader i think you 
Stupid yourself, how can you make a pass like that in that scenario? I do not know as now as Mel Assad trying to outpace Joe Worrell. He even panics and falls to the floor with that pass out. And all oh my days, Butland, what are you doing? It's an easy pass to McKenna. Curl it round that player running straight at you. It's a bit more simple than that, isn't it? Just don't give it to them and they won't score as now. Joe Lolly running at them a little bit here. He's got a man at the edge of the box. Ryan Yates, that's got to be handball and is. Doubt we're going to put a comeback on with literally two minutes left. We're going to take a quick penalty. Jonas wins. Just hammer it down the middle. And that's just the story of the game, innit? They've, they've saved the penalty. They scored theirs. Jonas win. Can he do something from this corner to actually get a goal? Ben Foster with an incredible save. Going to have to take another one. Joe Lolly this time from the other angle. It's to nowhere. Our handball, apparently. As Drago wins that header. That's the... That's the, the best header he's made all season when we're 2-0 down in the 90th minute, but no. Watford go through, the Premier League team beating us 2-0. And they didn't deserve it from the first half. Manager rating stays at 52, as Ryan Yates talked to me one more time about signings coming in. We've got 2 million and we're told to make profit. My team's telling me one thing, the board are telling me the other, and both are negative things. I know we're in the rut, but you are the players. You drag me out as I'm going to have a look at the office anyway, even though I don't know if I can sign a player at the moment. Christian Pedersen, how does he look look as a left back? Actually, pretty decent, but I don't know if we're going to sign him from Birmingham. As let's go to transfers, transfer hub. I should have three players on here. Well, four apart from Pedersen, who I've just put on. As George Honeyman is a decent player in the midfield, who I might bring in. I mean... It's going to take a high wage. I don't know if I go for that straight away. Is a Kabor is a right back from Man City who could get on loan. And Ashley Fletcher is transfer listed from Watford. This is the guy I think I want to bring in straight away. But they still want quite a bit of money for him. He's proven in the championship. I might just hold off for now. I might wait till deadline day. See what we can do against Bournemouth. And just try and improve with the team we have at hand. Because these Players on the field should be doing it as it is. As we've got a big offer, though, from Valladolid for Brennan Johnson. 21-year-old, 74 rated. Ah, this is this is frustrating because he's the one player I wouldn't really want to sell. But that's a very high offer that I'm still going to negotiate for more. And if we make the money, could potentially save my job by completing the budget thing. So it's out of my hands. The money we make from Brennan Johnson could really do us a big favour. It's 13 million. And I want a sell-on clause, a cheeky sell-on clause from Valladolid, because he's still 21 year old. 30 million and 5%, they want 12.7. Mmm, they've took away the advantage. I mean, that's the highest my um, scout said I could offer, and I think that's accepted. Yeah, it is, right, that's good. Almost 40 million for Brennan Johnson. I will take that all day long as we move straight on to Bournemouth next in 7th place. Challenging because I think this is the team I'm going to play. Two changes to the lineup Butlin in goal, Drager. Eli steps in for Worrell because he's really, really not playing well and it's starting to frustrate me a little bit. As McKenna and Williams are the other two in the defense, Jed Wallace, Ajeda, Ryan Yates, and Joe Lolly coming in at the left hand side. I don't know how he snuck back into the team, but I mean, we've lost, of course. Brennan Johnson, he's gone to the reserves because if he's not going to be here, he's not going to play. As uh, Paolo goes in the mid with him in the camp position, supporting Wind, whilst Carvalho is still out with a little injury. Bournemouth away as well. Gonna be a challenge, but we've got to try and rise and just keep it simple like we did in the first half against Watford. Not bottle it like we did against them. And Bournemouth's team at the Vitality. Ocean Nyland in goal. Adam Smith, Lewis Cook, Lloyd Kelly, Gareth Cahill. I think Kelly and Cahill should swap round in game because they're the wrong way around. As Christie, Cook and Mark Condes in the midfield. Junior Stanislas, Lowe and Rogers. Now we're looking at every lineup like it's the last one that could put the nail in the coffin. I hate thinking that way, but it's I'm trying to turn it into like something that spurs me on because I need to try and get results. Just I do think the game is a lot harder this year as well. This first season that we had with this save, I don't know how I even got in the playoffs and we really should have took a chance whilst we had it. I keep thinking about that penalty shootout as now Lolly goes to pass around the corner straight away. I mean, Ben Williams set off a bit too fast then, but Joe Lolly should have got the pass off. Marcondes passes blocked as well. Bournemouth starting off at home as you expect on the front foot as Lowe kept away from it. It's Yates to pick up on it. Ben Williams to blast it around the corner into Joe Lolly and we're going to try and get 
A bit of passes together right now. It's Yates into Ajeda. Drills it out wide to Jed Wallace. Now into Wind. Mohamed Dragan now making a run forward. It's a good run forward. He's got the man in the middle. Marcus Palo. if he can reach him. Straight into Nyland. However, we do keep the ball right here. Jed Wallace. He's got Marcus Palo in front of him. Wallace going for a shot himself. Nyland pulling out a big save. Good start against Bournemouth right here. When we've got the ball, we do something with it. That's the philosophy we've got to try and put in ourselves as Wind... Hopefully gets on this corner. I mean, he has got the header in Nyland with another great save. Jonas Wind almost there as Rogers has gone down as well for Bournemouth. Is that in a jump with Wind? Yes, it is. Oh, actually got clattered a bit there. Surprised that was not given as a foul, but we'll take it as Dragoman forward. Wind in that space. Can he get ahead of this time? It's way close to the keeper. Way too close. Not the greatest corner at all. As now Junior Stanislas. Ben Williams with a block. On to Marcus Paolo, as now Ryan Yates is going to fizz that through to Jonas Wind, who's making a good run here. He hasn't scored in a while as Jonas. Please, make the difference right here. Tries to cut inside, got the pass off to Paolo, who hits it at Steve Cook's legs. Now, if we don't take a lead first in this game, I'm going to throw this controller at a window. As we've had to concede a corner as well right here, because they were on a counter. And now, Emilio Marcondes. Oh, it's Ryan Christie actually taking it. Terrible corner, hits low. Take like a goal kick. And I can actually hear the Nottingham Forest fans. Well, I did before they just stopped and started speaking. Trying to get a bit of confidence behind the team. They was actually singing chants when it's still nil-nil as low as through though. What is Butland doing? That's an easy save if he dives the right way. But Bournemouth take the lead after our utter domination. It's typical now. I mean, I was going to say great goal, but it isn't. It's not a good goal. Butland dives out of the way. He dives out of the way. Dive right side. That's one of the easiest catches I'll ever see. He moves out the way. 1-0 down already away from home as it's his 10th goal of the season. Jamal Lowe. And we really need to spark some life into these boys right here. It's a pass straight off to Brewery and Ajeda. Jonas Wynn did do a little point but didn't want it second time as Brewery going to run it himself. Can I give that round? To the fullback. No, not the fullback. It's Jed Wallace. He needs to get more central as Paolo running on the angle. Paolo squeezes it home. That's 1 1. That's an instant response from Marcus Paolo, who's not done it in a forest shirt in a while. Good finish. I'm surprised that even went in. Oliver Nyland now with the shocker. It's keeper shockers all over. But we've got a goal at Bournemouth. Good one. Very, very good one. As now Eli onto a Jada. A Jada did slow it down in that move and did really well when he did so, as he's given it to Mohamed Drager. We're trying to get on the front foot at the end of this second half, which, or first half, should I say, because we've done so well in this first half. As Paolo now passes it out wide to Drager again. He's got Jed Wallace in support. Uses Jed Wallace, who should have a decent cross on him, into Ryan Yates. I mean, Jonas win nowhere to be seen in that box, but the header is down. It's to Marcus Paolo. Shoots from range. Got to be handball. And is. It's a penalty again for the second game running. And it's Lloyd Kelly who sticks his hands into it. It's going to be win to take. He needs his confidence up. He missed the last one, of course. Jonas Wind. I am not changing it from this corner. And he's hit the post. Please tap it home. And he's missed the rebound from a yard out. What can Jonas do to actually get himself on form? I don't know. A huge penalty miss. A huge miss. 1-1 one, one at the break. But should definitely be in the lead. No changes at second half. I'm going to give trust to Jonas Wind, even though he's missed that. And I'm laughing whilst I say it because it's actually quite funny how bad he has been compared to last season. What a fall off grace. And he's only gone down one rating. And that was because he was injured for a little while. And he's not going up again because he's absolutely doing shocking. However, he's got the ball in the middle here. Can he just make me down myself as Nyland makes a good save from his shot? He almost did because that was a good chance. He's going to hopefully... Get on this corner, please. Jonas, make a move. It's Anthony, the winger, to head it away, but it falls to Paolo. Oh, and he's lost it in a bad position, but Yates on the overlap. Rodrigo Eli, that was meant for Ben Williams out wide. As Ben Williams is going to get it out wide right here. No one really to whip it into, so pass inside into Brerian Ajeda, who's going to try and walk it for a shot, but no chance. As now low, fizzes one out. Griezmann's gone to Man United. I need to not focus on that graphic. There was Lewis Cook tackled. Ben Williams, a good one. Fizzes it straight into Jonas Winders. Let's turn and face. Their defence going all over the place. That's a rhyme. And Marcus Paolo's kind of through right there. Gets the ball. Lloyd Kelly with an insane touch. What a touch to keep us out. But Ben Williams, absolutely phenomenal head of that. He's having a good game today as a Jader now. 
Gives it out wide to Jed Wallace. Jed Wallace running all the way around. Can he cross this? Gary Cahill with a block and it is with his feet. As I'm going to actually put Zande Silva on for Joe Lolly. Screw it. Make some changes. Try and spark some life as Jonas Wind drops off. Should get his head on that. Does. Nylon saves. I give it everything to try and stay in line then as Ryan Yates tackle. Good pass out to Bruno Jada. This is a counter attack. We need to take advantage of us. It's a good ball over from Paolo who's having a good game. And how is he offside? How? It's not even going to show us the replay. It's not even going to let us see. And so yes, I have put my faith in Nuno da Costa now off the bench. Jonas, it's time for him to go off the field. As that's a good ball in. No, it actually isn't. What am I on about? As it's a good clearance. Nuno da Costa, get further forward, mate. We need to go forward as they've got five at the back now. Ten minutes to go. We've got the run down the wing. Now, is that offside, ref? Didn't think so. Zande Silva, a bit too far out wide for my liking, though. Needs a bit more support in this middle. Ryan Yates is there. Yates... Into Nuno da Costa. Just drop it back off because there's no real run. Look how strong their defensive line is. Jefferson Lerma's now at centre back. As we've got five minutes left against the Cherries, and I'm I'm very disappointed that we haven't got three points because although we've played amazing, it's the difference between my job and of course being fired. As now it's on to Marcus Paolo. Can we get something in these late stages? Paolo still with the ball at his feet, no pressure on him. I'm going to try and shoot them, but of course the man comes out. Ben Pearson to block that. Ball around the corner into Zande. Zande's touch is way too heavy. It's going to be Steve Cook to pass it back to Nyland, and it's only two additional minutes. That's not enough. That's not enough. Get the team press on, but do not lose this, as I don't think they've got time to get forward. We should have Jed Wallace, and it's a terrible pass from Ajeda as it ends 1-1. I am, I am so disappointed. It's unreal. In Butland, in Wind... And the fact we haven't won that game should have been an easy three points. And the manager rating is down to 48. It's down to 48. 22nd we sit in the league. Under close observation. Now I'm getting very nervous because it could go at any moment. Taylor's approach has been made. Monthly scout report. Every message now means the world to me because I don't know if it's the end. I wouldn't be very surprised if it was as Pogba's gone to Atletico Madrid. Can't see that for my big head in the way but... That's the transfer that's gone down. There's no one else spending money. So I think I might try and join them. As Brennan Johnson has been sold. 10 million's gone to us. But it it, it hasn't though. Now it has. So that's took us manager rating up a lot. Okay, that's done us a big favour. A big favour. It smashed the profit margin. So that means we could actually spend it, I think. As everything else. We need a, a, a streak of three clean sheets away from home. And one crucial player to a defensive position. Right, that is something we need to do. Everything to boost that manager rating up. Because I feel like it's got to be this guy. Where are Birmingham in the league? Because I do want to bring in Christian Pedersen. I really do. But if it's from like a rival or above us, would it really happen? I don't know. He is old. He's, they're in 15th. I, I don't know if he would make the change. But screw it. I think I'm going to approach him. Looking at the stats as well. He has played most of their games. He's played 30. In fact, he's actually played almost all of them. So I think... Although my job is on the line, Christian Pedersen's quite unrealistic, so I should go for someone more realistic for us. And I think I've found just the man. We've just played him. Another Watford player, Danny Rose. 32-year-old, should come in with experience, though. Still fast. And, of course, his brother, Mitch Rose, who I've got a signed shirt from in my cupboard somewhere, uh, played for Grimsby. He's actually, well, was, don't think he is anymore, at Notts County. So it's kind of realistic, even though they're the rivals. I know, but it's... Proximity. He can come up north. He's not scared of it. Realism. As we're going to approach him straight away and try and get the sign in. No, I am not paying 6.6 .6 million for him, though. I mean, I'd rather lose my job, to be fair, than spend that much. As we'll offer, we'll offer 3 million because he is aging, of course. 32 year old. They want 33, well, 3.9. I'll offer, I'll offer 3.3. Hopefully that's accepted. And it is. Money from Brennan Johnson put straight into use. I'm surprised the board's letting me spend it. It was crucial. It needs to be crucial, doesn't it? That's what the board wants. Accept that. Um, two years. I think that's good enough. Yes. He takes a two-year contract. Disregard a release clause. Now his wage. His wage. I'll offer 27. And then a bonus of... Yeah, no. Clean sheets. Clean sheets. 10 clean sheets. I need to actually put a bonus fee on, don't I? 300k for 10 clean sheets. I feel like that's very, very good. Because we need to keep them. And he accepts it. Danny Rose does join Nottingham Forest. And that could be a big player. Trying to keep us 
in his job by signing him and then hopefully with appearances and good performances as well. A huge player through the door as it's up to 67 now the manager rating. Good, good. Okay, that's improving it as he's going to come straight in the team. He's fit enough as well. That's that defense. That defense. The whole team, not the defense, the whole team is Premier League worthy. As I'm even going to sub Eli off 75 rated for Joe Worrell, who is 75. It's amazing. Change around that is. The board actually thanking me for making the money and then, of course, spending it as. Do you know what? I think we can make another signing. Of course, Tom Cleverly leaves us next season. Why not go for George Honeyman? He's absolutely free. I mean, he's going to want a good squad role, I think. I'm going to offer him rotation. We've lost Brennan Johnson as well, so can play Cam and midfield. Takes that rotational role. Two years, no release clause. It's actually going way better than I thought. 13 million. That is one of the quickest signings I've ever made. Snap decision. Brilliant wages and all that. And if he can turn out really good, what a signing that can be. George Honeyman released from Hull. I mean, it doesn't take the manager rating up, so... Bit of a bummer, but a good player through the door. Hopefully stops players moaning at us as well as he did take rotational. Cleverly's on important. He can take Cafu's spot for now. Maybe a Jade is in the future. As we've got an offer from Ghent as well in this window for Breary and a Jade now. I don't think we're in the position to turn down offers. So, of course, I am going to go into this and see if we can up it. I mean, 8 million is really what I want for Breary and. Maybe I could get more, but I'm going to take 8 million. And Ghent say yes. Could be losing a Jada, but at least we've got Honeyman in. Might have to throw him in the deep end because a free player, then making 8 million on the side, that's going to do us wonders with the board as well as it'll do us wonders for a budget next season if we're still in this job and if we're still in this league. So I think that is the message as... As I think that's the message of a Jada leaving. But we've got one hour to skip. We have done it. And anything else... Not really, just the scout reports, of course. As Jada has gone, Taylor's always moaning about his contracts with clubs. And here's our academy as well, if you want to take a look. Might just promote one here, trying to impress the board. Luca Vincent, 60 rated. Could put him straight on the loan list. I think Herbert. Sorry, Herbert. I love your name, but you're getting released. But Vincent, I'm going to promote him to the first team and maybe try and get him a loan. And I am going to play this game against Swansea. And then I'm going to simulate Birmingham, if we get time after that, as his manager rating... Gone straight back down, hasn't it? Why has it gone straight back down? Why? What have I done? I did I did all you asked as we are in the relegation zone. That's probably why, but 11th place Swansea are in town. As we're going to definitely not go with that team. Let's put Eli in the midfield. No, thank you. I'm going to shove George Honeyman straight in as it's Butland, Drager, Worrell, McKenna and Danny Rose making a debut. Lolly, Yates, Honeyman as well with Wallace, Marcus Paolo and Jonas wind back to, up to his normal rating somehow after that disaster class against Bournemouth. And somehow he's still in the team. And the TIFO's out. It's a big game, this, and even the fans know it. As it's Ben Hamo, Joe Latte, Kyle Norton, Ryan Bennett, Brandon Cooper, and Ryan Manning. And I think that's five back. I think that is a five back with Jamie Patterson in front. It is Danda and Nitcham with Lino and Oberfemi up front, or Lino, however you say it. So let's make sure we get the result right here. George Hummerman straight away in the ball, and it does feel quite nice. Little spin right there. Already absolutely love him. I'm only joking, of course, because we need to try and get performances with him as Joe Lolly. That was meant for Danny Rose. Get the new boys taking touches straight away. Danny Rose does feel like a Premier League player. I mean, all his team does, just not performing like it. As George Honeyman does have the ball through the middle right here, gives it into Jonas Wind. Supporting run from Jed Wallace, and it's actually managed to lose the ball somehow. Swansea beat us at the start of the season because of... A Butland mistake, and of course he's made a couple of mistakes recently. Needs to cut them out to keep his position in the team. As now Joe Lolly running through the middle. George Honeyman has wind in front of him, but he's going to take it on himself to shoot from range. That's definitely a handball. George Honeyman, love that determination and grit from you, mate. Winning a penalty straight away, and it's going to be... Is it going to be wind? Is it going to be wind? Have I got anyone close to him on penalties? Jed Wallace... But screw it, I need to build his confidence up somehow. Not that corner, but the left. And it's finally in the back of the net. I saw Ben Hamer take that step and I knew it was in. 1-0 against the Swans. And Jonas Vind actually scores. <laughs> Brilliant work. Sends the keeper the wrong way with the eyes. And we do have a lead right here at home against Swansea. The only question is, can we keep it? And Swansea having a bit of the ball after our goal, but Danny Rose, big, with a good tackle right there, as he's going to cut back and pass that in the middle to Ryan Yates. Ryan Yates fizzes that forward as well as Paolo. 
I see a wind over the top. I see a wind making the run. Can he shoot first time? Why is he going with his head? I mean, you scored plenty of headers in the past, mate, but that's not going in. We're certainly creating chances a bit more now. I don't know if it's formation kicking in or whatever. As now a turn out from Jed Wallace into George Honeyman. George Honeyman's going to drill this out into Paolo. Paolo gets the run around from Joe Lolly, and that's in towards wind. Just beaten to it by the defender, but a better cross. I mean, I'm starting to see a little bit more promise, though, as that's drilled out to Jamie Patterson. Patterson cut out. Brilliant tackle. Joe Lolly now to run away with it, and Joe Lolly just keep on going. Keep on sprinting, mate. You can sprint right here, and you can put that through to Jonas Wind, who's definitely onside. Get your hand down, player, as Wind shoots off balance, but forces a corner. He did well there, because he ain't the fastest of players. As we're going to whip this in, hoping to try and hit him on the head. It's going to be crossed in deep. Hamer's coming out, and he does catch it. Just got to do a little bit more, though, to get this second goal. I mean, it's a good performance as George Honeyman. He's actually the player I think I wanted in that midfield. He's great. He hasn't misplaced the pass yet. There's Jed Wallace around the corner to Drager. And oh, we're going to run down the wing. A very, very good half at the break. I'm not going to say anything more than that. Not jinx anything or what. But we just need to keep this result. It's absolutely imperative. As now Obafemi onto Lino. It's a 1-2. Obafemi again. Nitcham around the corner. Typical, typical, it's going to be a penalty. I'm not going to rage on about this, though. I'm not going to rage. I'm not going to rage. I'm just going to save it. Bulland! Come on, I had faith in you. And you have returned it right there. Great save. As now it's going to be a corner for Nitchum. Please, no, please, George Honeyman. Brilliant work. He's all over the field. He's like a rash. Great stuff as now, Drager. Let's turn that into confidence, saving a penalty. As Mami Drager, blah. Tried to cut back with him, didn't work right there. Just get behind the ball now. As Obafemi now tries to turn us right there. Drager, pass around the corner into Jed Wallace. Jed Wallace cuts away, brilliant cut away. And Honeyman with a pass straight. He literally hasn't messed up a pass yet as Wind with a pass down the wing into Jed Wallace. And Wind, drill yourself into that box, mate. I don't care if it hurts as he's got there. Bennett with a clearance on the front post. But this performance is still intact. We just need to keep it as now Yates pass that to the side. Paolo, another shot through the middle, just over the bar. Now Lino on it again in the midfield. Just keep this defence strong. Keep dropping back. If we need be, if it needs be, whatever the word is, just drop back as Manning's got the pass in the middle though. The midfield still need to drop back as well because they're leaving gaps as now Worrell to run away with it. Joe Worrell, just pass that to the side. There we go. Into Jed Wallace, drills it across into Honeyman. Honeyman, ah, that's the first misplaced, but he's got it straight back. As now Marcus Polo, wind, make that run ahead of him. Make that run ahead, get your foot on that. Cooper with a head away, there's not long left. We just need to hold on to it. It's now Nitchamp with it, he's put one around the corner into Lino. Lino on the line, literally, into Manning. This is getting dangerous now, because Swansea actually are building chances as Button saves. Button saves, and I'm going to put Tom Cleverley in cam. More defensive player on the field is what we need as it's whipped in towards the back post. Head that away. Win does head that away. Manning with a shot. What a goal. What a goal. It's going to be a wonder goal that does not give us three points in a scenario where we desperately need them. How shocking. Oh, that's frustrating. I do not want to see a replay. We need to go fully out for this game. We've dominated as well, but it's, it's going to be just like that, isn't it? It's going to be like that. And if that loses the job, then it's going to be... Oh, what a terrible way to go out as Downs. Passes it inside to Fulton. They've made subs. Do not bottle it, boys. Come on, make sure we mark as men up. As Obafemi's running through the middle. Good tackle from McKenna. On to... Ryan Yates, and I don't like to sprint, but it looks like we're going to have to do a little bit right now as George Honeyman has the run in front of him right here from, I don't know who, but whoever it is doesn't get on the ball. Honeyman chasing it down. Yates picks up on it. Wallace through the middle. Honeyman spins on it. Oh, and it's a tackle from Cooper last minute. Can you believe it? As it's telling us to put Nuno da Costa on. I'm not. I'm just going to take this corner. I need to get this correct. Jonas wins. Please don't come up for it. Ben Hamer is going to get that easily. And it's going to fall here to Tom Cleverley. Win that header, he does. Where's the man in the middle? Why has no one dropped off us? This could be actually threatening right here. It's Lino who's running backwards. He's going all the way backwards. He drills it across to Nitcham. Across the side again to Manning as there's still one minute added on. Come on, boys. Let's make sure we don't bottle this over. Femi, it's out to the wing. It's Yates. And that's never a foul. 
It's never a foul, but when he kicks it, the game should be over. He's far out. It should be over. Head that away, Zande. He does. On to Honeyman. And it's a 1-1 draw with Swansea, which is an absolutely gutting draw. Because again, like Bournemouth, it should have been a win. Now I've said we're going to stick together. But it's done. It's It's been done. The board has decided to replace you as manager of this club. I've got to advance. Contract terminated. It's the first time I've been sacked in a save in a while. But I'm not going to let that put me down. I mean, there's management jobs to go for, including Sunderland, which I could try and rob, but I, I don't know what to do. I I I'm going to accept this Sunderland job just because that's the only thing I can do. It's gone from 25k a week to 4k a week. But what can you do? As that that is the end of the Nottingham Forest save as it stands. We're at Sunderland now. Do we carry on with this? I honestly do not know what to do. I may take a day off of recording to try and get you guys' opinions on this. Do we carry on on Sunderland? Do we make a new save? Because this Nottingham Forest one really hasn't gone to plan. And I apologise to all you Nottingham Forest fans watching for the Nottingham Forest career mode. Do we turn this into a journeyman? I I'm up to whatever you guys want to do. But... So far, I, I'm I'm not a man who quits and saves. I've played football manager and I know you do not quit a save when you lose. There will be no more Nottingham Forest career mode as it stands. That is the end. That is the end. There's a train my new team right there. I didn't even know who they are. Do we carry on with Sunderland? Do we do a new club? Do we create a club? Do we do a player career mode? It's up to you guys. I will put a vote on the channel. And I probably will keep a day off of recording just to get the input into you guys. Apologies this has happened, but Ryan Manning has made this happen. Thank you guys for watching this episode right here. Maybe not the best ending to it. Like, comment, share and subscribe. And the notification bell and as well as we take a new plunge into whatever we will be doing in FIFA 22. And I will see you all in the next one. Take care in a bit. And see you wherever we are. Peace.